Hey everyone. Uh, welcome back to Field of Dreams. Another broadcast. Uh, this time the week of uh, August 18th to the 24th in season two. So we'll have about uh, probably two or three games tonight, and then we'll sim the rest of the week. And then I believe Bernie's going to take over tomorrow and finish off the month of August. So um, let's see. I am sharing my screen. Uh, we got the games over here. Let me post the link here in case anybody wants to join. Feel free. I see Buckshot's on. Hey, well, good to see you, buddy. Long time no see. You see Bernie's here. Thanks for joining in, Bernie. Uh, what was the game I was going to play tonight? Let's see. The first game I was going to play was... Uh, oh, I was going to do Chicago, Hadley, Lake, or Chico's Manchester. <clears throat> I think Chico's Manchester is, is good because uh, Buckshot's here and because the division is so tight between Chico's and Lehigh. So Chico's is actually a half game behind at this point. So let's see here. Just, uh, just give me a holler if everybody can hear me. Bernie or, Ch or uh, Buckshot, just give me a yes or no. If you can, if everything's good, because I don't know. I just want to make sure. I don't know what kind of language that is, uh, Buckshot. Agrid Ole Ball. Interesting. All right. Chico's and Manchester. At Yankee Stadium. Don't know if this is a game that Bernie just played, but well, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, so I am going to do, let's see, computer lineup. Computer lineup. And I just want to see if this is. Okay. And versus Rudy. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we have Chico's Bail Bonds versus the Manchester Red Bulls. So we're here at Yankee Stadium, 19, circa 1961, I believe. And we have Chico's of the 69 and 54 record versus the Manchester Red Bulls, the 60 and 62. Uh, the defending champion, Manchester Red Bulls. I definitely don't want to go without saying that. And on the uh, for the red, uh, for for the red home standing Red Bolts, we have Sam Usual, Stan the Man playing left field, Baby Doll Jacobson in center, Tony Gwynn in right, George We Go in Sisla at first base, second base Paul Molitor, shortstop Ray Chapman, third base Cleet, Cleet Boyer, and catching is Brian Downing, All Star Brian Downing. And on the mound is Mike Mucina, the Moose, who's now 6-11 with a 3.90 ERA for the Red Bolts. Uh, the batting order for uh, Chico's is Frank Chance at first, George Brett at batting second, Snuffy Sternweiss, Johnny Bench, Vladimir Guerrero, Brian Braun, Jason Bartlett, Greasy Neal is at DH today, and Ichiro Suzuki is at batting ninth. So... Here we go. Frank Chance steps up to the plate. He's batting 304 with seven home runs and 25 RBIs. Here's the pitch from Usina. And he gets a fly ball to center field. Jacobson's there to make the catch for out number one. George Brett steps up 268, 16 home runs, 72 RBIs. And he hits a fly ball to center field. Same place. Jacobson makes the catch out number two. And Snuffy Sternweiss at the plate. 268, 16 homers, and 68 RBIs. And he hits a line drive to center field, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. And Sternweiss is on first base with two outs. And Johnny Bench is up 261, 20 homers, and 70 RBIs. What was that? Ball one. Okay, so they didn't. Here's the second. Here's the pitch again. Oh, and Sternweiss goes, and here's the throw. 
He's caught stealing Stumpy Sternweiss. Caught stealing from the ends of the inning. No runs, one hit, no error. And up come the Manchester Red Bulls. But first, we have uh, the defensive alignment for the Chico's Bail Bonds. We have Ryan Braun in left field, Suzuki in center, Vladimir Guerrero in right, Frank Chance at first, Sternweiss at second, Bartlett at short, George Brett at third. Behind the bench is Johnny Bench. I mean, behind the, the plate is Johnny Bench. And David Cohn is on the mound. He's 17-7 and seven with a 2.27 ERA acquired from Vegas in a trade at the deadline or deadline week. And here's the pitch to Butler, who is batting 274, four home runs, and 24 RBIs. And Butler has a long fly ball deep to right. That's gone. Home run for Brett Butler, number five of the season. Lead off home run for Brett Butler at 303 feet. And Manchester jumps out to a one to nothing lead. And so here we go with Tony Gwynn. Didn't realize he didn't do the batting order. Tony Gwynn's batting second behind Butler and followed by Downing, Musial, Sisler, Paul Molitor, Baby Doll Jacobson, Cleet Boyer, and Ray Chapman. So Brett Butler was the DH, by the way. He's the DH in today's game. Okay, so here we go. Here's the pitch to Gwynn, who's batting 341 this season, and he lines a shot to center field, and that's going to be a double. So Tony Gwynn looked like it might have been caught, but I think it, he kind of bobbled it around, and it was and it ended up being scored a double for Tony Gwynn. So we've got one on second, nobody out, one run in. Ryan Downing's up 281, and he has a base hit to right field, and Tony Gwynn's going to stop at third base. So we have first and third with nobody out. So David Cohn's immediately uh, experiencing some difficulty here in the first inning, and his stand usual. Who's not someone that anybody would like to face in any situation, but here we go with two runners on, nobody out. And usual pops it up, so that's a big out. If Bartlett makes the play and he's under it and does make the play, so it's one one out. And George we go and Sisla is up. He's 287, one home run and 28 RBIs in the season. Sisla Fires a single to the right side, and he's on. With a, when a run comes in, it's now 2 nothing. So it's first and second, one out, and Paul Molitor's up. Strike and Molitor strikes him out, strikes out, so out number two, and brings up Baby Doll Jacobson. He's on the Mendoza line, 200 average. And he hits a shot to Bartlett, who throws to Sternweiss for the force out at second base to end the inning. So they get two runs. It's now 2 nothing. Red Bolts going into the second inning. And here comes Johnny Bench. Bench uh, uh, grounds it back to Mucina, throws over to first out number one. Here's Vladimir Guerrero, 259 with 21 home runs this season. And he flies to left field, and Musial is there to make the catch out number two. And here's Ryan Braun, 228 average. Strikes him out. So Chico's goes down, scoreless again. And this brings up Manchester Red Bulls. And Cleet Boyer leads off. 328 for Cleet. He fight he lines out to Sternweiss, who made a great play at second base. And Ray Chapman is the next batter. And Chapman lines to Brett. And Brett makes a, a great stab for out number two. So two quick outs, and his butler who homered in the first inning. And he hits another home run. Brett Butler, second home run of the game to right field. Lead off, oh, so it's his sixth home run of the season, second today. That one's a little further, 361 feet, and it's now three to nothing. So, wow. So it's a Manchester is jumping out on top of David Cohn here. His Tony Gwynn's up. And Gwynn grounds to Bartlett, who throws over to first, out number three, but they do do some more damage, and it's now three nothing after two. And here comes Bartlett to face the Musina. And Bartlett bunts and beats out the single, the bunt single for Bartlett. So gets a lead runner on his greasy Neal at 227 with three home runs. And Bartlett goes and no throw and is a stolen base, 25. And he's in scoring position. So here's the pitch to Neal. And he bunts it. And he's going to, oh, it's a bad throw. It goes into right field. Error on Mucina. And Bartlett, I believe, is going to, no, he's not going to score. 
Let's see if he does. No, he doesn't score. So he goes to third. Neil's safe at first. No outs, first and third. And they're they're threatening to score here with Suzuki, who's batting 268, two homers and 44 RBIs. And Suzuki hits a base hit. That's going to score a run. And Neil's going to stop at second. So we've got a three to one game now with nobody out. And this is Chico's turn. And here comes Frank Chance. And he grounds to Musino, who's going to throw to third to catch to get the force out. Lead runner gets thrown out, so it was one out, still first and second. And his bread was 0 for 1 today. And he hits a ground ball to Sisla. He throws the second for one, and they do not get two. So we have runners at the corners with two outs. And Sternweiss is up. He's one for one with the single. But George Brett is safe on the pickoff for 10th. And Sternweiss grounds to Chapman, who's going to throw the first to be close, and he's out. So that does it for the inning. The Chico's gets one run, threatened to score more, but could not put a push any more across. So after two and a half, it's three to one Manchester. And this brings up Brian Downing, who's one for one. Downing grounds the back to the cone, who throws the chance for out number one. And it's Musial 0 for 1. And Musial with another infield pop-up. That's the second one of the in two at bats for Musial. So disappointing start for him on the game. And his Sisla who's one for one. And he's now two for two with a hit to right field. So, and Paul Molitor comes up 0 for 1 on the day, and Sisler's not going. And oh, what's that mean? Out. Hold on a second. Okay, so there was a wild pitch or something that got a pitch that got by a bench, but no movement on the bases. So I guess we'll just do it again here. 3 and 0 count to Molitor. <laughs> Check on Sisler. He's safe. And a strikeout. So Cone strikes out uh, Mauled it in the inning, and after three, it's three to one. Here's Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench strikes out. Vladimir Greer was 0 for 1. And he hits a shot to, to the gap, and he's going to be extra bases. He's in there with a double. So a one out double for Guerrero puts him in scoring position for Ryan Braun. 0 for 1 in the game. And he hits a base hit, and Guerrero's going to stay at third base for play by Cleet Boyer. Didn't look like it was anywhere close to third base, but that, nevertheless, that's what it says. And here comes Jason Bartlett. He's one for one today with a run and a stolen base. And Bartlett with a shot down the left field line. This is going to be trouble, and, and going to be extra bases as Braun's going to go to third, and Bartlett's going to go to second. And Braun's going home, and the throw is safe, and Bartlett takes third on the throw. So it's a double and an extra base, and he takes third on the throw, and it's a two-run double. It's a tie game here, so Chico's comes back in the fourth inning and threatening to score more with one out and a runner at third, and his greasy kneel. And he flies out to Jacobson. Let's see if Bartlett comes home. He's got some speed, and he does easily. And it's 4-3 to three now. Chico's takes the lead with a sacrifice fly. And here comes Ichiro. Ichiro, it's a base hit to right field. And we have two outs and one on. There's Frank Chance, 0 for 2. And Suzuki goes on the pitch, and he's safe with a stolen base, so he's in scoring position. Can score with, with a hit here from Suzuki, from Frank Chance. And Frank Chance strikes out, so that does it for that inning. It's 4-3 to three now with three runs in the fourth inning. And here comes Manchester trying to... Claw its way back now. Uh, Baby Doll Jacobson leads off. He's 0 for 1. And he hits a shot to Frank Chance, who makes the catch. Out number 1 in his Cleet Boyer, 0 for 1. And he hits a fly ball to center field. Suzuki ranges back and makes the catch. Great play for Suzuki. Number 45 in center field. So here comes Ray Chapman. And he grounds to Bartlett, throws over to Chance for out number 3. So no runs. No hits, no errors for the Red Bolts after four. It's four to three Chicos. And the pitch from Musina to Brett. Oh, Andy Ashby's coming in. Early in the game. Quick hook for Musina. And George Brett will face Ashby. Uh, Ashby is seven and five with a 4.49 ERA. And Brett hits a fly ball deep to right. And Gwynn has it for the out, number one. Here comes Sternweiss, one for two. 
Line drive to Boyer and makes the catch. Foul number two and his Johnny Bench over two. Strikeout by Ashby. So that does it for the Chicos in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. And here comes Manchester trying to tie this game up. And his Brett Butler with two home runs already in the game. And he grounds this one to Brett. And Butler out at first. Out number one. Here's Tony Gwynn with one for two. Walks. And here comes Brian Downing, one for two. And Gwynn's on, on, the, on his horse, and he's safe. Stolen base, number six for Tony Gwynn, is in scoring position. And Brian Downing lines it to Bartlett, and he's out at first. And Gwynn goes to third on the ground out. So here's Stan Musial, the owner of two pop flies in the infield so far. And let's see what he can do here with a runner at third. And he grounds it weakly to first base, and Chance takes it himself and ends the inning. So after five, it's still 4-3 Chicos. And Ashby is facing Guerrero, Braun, and Bartlett this inning. And his Guerrero, one for two. And Guerrero hits a fly ball to the left field, and Musial has it for the number one. And his Ryan Braun, one for two. And grounds it to Boyer. Boyer throws to Sisler, and he makes the play for out number two. And Jason Bartlett is two for two with a double, two runs in the stolen base. Oh, he's hit. Jason Bartlett is hit by the pitch. Uh, hits him in the knee. And we'll see what happens. See if he tries to steal a base to to get back at the at Ashby. Here's the pitch to Neil. Oh, they look at it. They check on him. He's safe. Pitch again to Neil with a strike. And he gets he loses Neil and walks him. So we got first and second with two outs. Here comes Ichiro, who's oh who's two for two today with an RBI and a stolen base. And he walks Suzuki. So the bases are loaded, two outs. Frank Chance up is 0 for 3. He's due for a hit here. Here's the pitch. And Chance, he pops it up in the infield. And let's see, Boyer has it. He's under it and makes the catch route number three. So the bases loaded goes by the wayside. And it's still four to three Chicos. Is George Sisla two for two today. And he rounds it to Stern Weiss and he makes the play route number one. And Paul Molitor comes to the bat. He's 0 for two. He grounds it weakly to Stern Weiss, throws the first out number two. Hey, Beatles, how's it going? Big clues here. Welcome, guys. Uh, Steve Tate's here. Wow, okay. And, and sorry, just looking at the, at the things. Sakuni 007, otherwise known as Yoko. The six-tailed Kitsuni. And it kind of, oh, and the world's worst game is here. Hi, Sean. So here we go. Jacobson's up, baby doll. And he pops it up to the catcher. Johnny Bench is to wait for it to come down, and he makes the catch out number three. So we go to the top of the seventh still. It's uh, four to three. And George Brett's facing at Andy Ashby. And Matt Thornton is coming into pitch. So Thornton, the left-hander, comes in. He's uh, one and one with a 4.06 ERA in 33 innings so far this season. Here's the pitch. Grounded to Chapman. Chapman throws over to Sisler for out number one. And here comes Sternweiss, one for three today. And he bunts it to Sisler. Sisler throws to Molitor, out number two. And Johnny Bench comes up. Bunch grounds it to Molitor, throws over to Sisler. Sisler makes all three putouts for this in, in the inning. And that's quick. Then we go to the seventh inning stretch. Welcome back. Cleet Boyer takes the gets in gets steps in the box. And on a little note here, personally, the only time I went to the Hall of Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, um, when I was in my twenties, and Cleet Boyer happened to be there signing autographs, you know. And uh, as he was a Yankee, I wanted none of that. So, but he was there, so that's interesting. 
side note. So here's Cleve Boyer uh, facing David Cohn. He's over two so far in today's game. And Boyer pops it up in the infield. Sternweiss waiting for it to come down. Might bring rain, and he does, and he makes the play out number one. And Ray Chapman comes to the plate over two. And he hits a base hit. It's on first base with a single to the right side. And Brett Butler's up with the two home runs, two for three today. Here is the pitch. Oh, Hot Eller is going to come in. Hot Eller's been getting a lot of work lately. He is now eight and six, one save, 138 innings. Oh, I'm sorry, 117 innings, which is quite a bit for a reliever. But here comes Brett Butler. And he grounds a weakly stern weiss, and he's going to have to throw to first as Chapman was running. And so Chapman's standing on second with two outs. And the hit machine, Tony Wynn, is up. He's one for two with a double. And he hits a base hit, and let's see if Chapman comes home. He's going to come home. It's a tie game. Chico, uh, Manchester's tied it up off of David Cohn. And it's now four to four, and here's Brian Downing up to bat with a runner at first and two outs. And he walks him, so Eller. Oh, I'm sorry, that was, I thought that was Cohn still in there, but it's Hot Eller now. So Hot Eller's got his stats are not really that great as a reliever. And here comes Stan Usual, 0 for 3. Has not hit the ball out of the infield yet. The pitch, and he hits a ground ball to the into the corner right and, in right field, and it's going to score two, and Usual's going for third. Safe for the triple, so he ends the, the drought in the game with a two-run triple to take the lead, 6-4 to four for the Red Bulls. So here comes St St I'm sorry, George Sisler. And Sisler, it's a base hit, scores another run. So And Vladimir Guerrero bobbles it, and it's an error on him. And it's a single and an error, and Sisler's on at second base. Two outs. Seven to four now. Red Bulls pulling away. And here comes Kirk McCaskill to relieve Eller after some less than stellar work. And here comes and McCaskill is three and two with three saves and 53 and two-thirds innings. The pitch to Molitor. And Molitor flies out to ensure Suzuki to end the inning, but they get four runs. And Chico's is now behind the eight ball, and they're down seven to four. And here comes Vladimir Guerrero, one for three today, facing, oh no, facing, yeah, Thornton. Elson Howard's coming in to play catcher. And Guerrero pops it up in the infield, and Molitor is there, makes the catch for out number one. And brings up Ryan Braun, who's one for three. Strikes him out, Matt Thornton. And Jason Bartlett comes up. He's two for two with a double. And two RBI, two runs, and a stolen base. Ball, ball. Jason Bartlett's having quite a game. He's on base machine, got hit by a pitch as well, and now he just walks. And here comes Reezy Neal. And Kip, Cal Ripken's going to pinch hit for him, just like he did in the last game. Here we go. And Ripken this time hits a base hit. And Bartlett's going to go to third, so we got first and third. And Chico's is threatening with two outs here, and his Ichiro is two for two with an RBI and a walk. Here's the pitch. Lefty against lefty. And Ichiro flies out harmlessly to the right field. Gwynn makes the catch, and that's going to do it for the eight, top of the eighth, and it's still 7-4. to four. And McCaskill is going to face Baby Doll Jacobson, who's 0 for 3. And Baby Doll flies out to right field, and Guerrero makes the catch. And here comes Cleet Boyer. Boyer hits a fly ball to left field, and Ryan Braun's in to make the catch, out number two. And Ray Chapman's up. He's 1 for 3 today. And he grounds it to Sternweiss, makes the play the chance. So this is it, top of the ninth. Chico's needs to get score three to keep this game going. And here comes Frank Chance, 0 for 4 today. And Trevor Hoffman is coming in, the closer. And he is 3-3 three and three record, 18 saves, 2.16 ERA. The pitch to Chance. And Chance, it's a long fly ball. That's gone in left field. And see you later. Home run number three. Eight for Frank Chance, and it's now seven to five with a leadoff home run off of Trevor Hoffman. So she goes, has a chance here by from Frank Chance. And George Brett comes to the plate, who's 0 for 4 to face Hoffman. 
And he walks him, so the tying run comes to the plate. And Snuffy Sternweiss, one for four today. Let's see what Snuffy Sternweiss can do against Trevor Hoffman. And Sternweiss strikes him out. So strikeout number one for Hoffman brings up Johnny Bench is over four. And one run first. Here's the, oh, the check on Brett. He's safe. And here's the pitch. And it's a wild pitch. And Brett's going to go to second. So it takes the double play out of the out of the out of the uh, possibility, and also puts Brett in run in scoring position for a base, a base hit could bring the game within one. So here comes the pitch to Bench. And strikes out Bench. So. Trevor Hoffman comes back twice to strike out the last two batters, and here comes Vladimir Guerrero with a last chance. One for four. And a big fly could tie the game up. The pitch to, to Guerrero. And he hits a floater into center field for a base hit. George Brett's going to come home to score the seventh to the sixth Chico's run to make it a one-run game, and the tying run is at first in the form of Guerrero. And here's Brian Braun, who's one for four. In the game. Here's the pitch to Brian Braun from Hoffman. Oh, Mark Icon's coming in. So Hoffman is taken out the closer after giving up two runs. And Icon's gonna come in to face Ryan Braun. The righty against righty. The, the pitch to Braun. And he hits a fly ball to center field. Jacobson has it, and that's gonna do it. The Chicos have lost to fall into the Manchester Red Bulls seven to six. So Manchester's one game away from five hundred. Chicos falls to sixty nine and fifty five, and that's going to do it. So that was a close game. It ended up being a close game. For Chicos, he had Suzuki two for three. Bartlett had a great game on base four times. Guerrero, two for five, and Frank Chance had the ninth inning home run to try to bring them closer. Uh, Brett Butler started the game off great, has two home runs in his first two at-bats, and Sisler goes three for four. Uh, on the mound, David Cohn gets into a decision after giving up four earned runs. Lahad Eller actually gets the loss, uh, giving up three earned runs in only a third of an inning. And for Manchester, Matt Thornton gets the win, and Icon gets his third save. That's a great game there. And here we go. Well, I guess we'll just, uh, so that brings Chico's to a full game behind uh, pending Lehigh's game this game, this day. And we will sim the rest of today and move to the next day. So Tampa Bay and Florence has the next game. Tampa Bay beats Florence six to five. Walter Johnson, the winner, he's eight and five. Six to Lescano gets a home run. Is Chicago and Hadley Lake. Hadley Lake takes care of Chicago seven to three. Cobb is three for three with a home run. Don Dres Don Drysdale, the well-traveled Don Drysdale, goes gets his ninth win of the season. Uh, that brings Chicago down to thirty-four games behind Canada in first place. Uh, and they're in fourth place at this point. Still ahead of Edmonton and Florence. And here comes Dallas and Lehigh. And Lehigh takes care of Dallas 10 to 3. Mordecai Brown's his 12th win. Sherry McGee goes 3 for 4 with a home, with a home run. And St. Pete and Lancaster. Lancaster beats St. Pete in 11 innings. Richard gets the win. He's 2 and 2. And Smith gets the home run as 20th. Reggie Smith, I believe that is. Three RBIs. DGEN's playing Berlin. DGEN's loses to Berlin. Four to three. Josh Beckett, the loser. Halliday gets his eighth win. And the DGEN's just can't seem to win, pull out any anything this season. They're just in the last place. Second to worst, uh, let's see, third to worst record in the league. Um, just a disappointing season from DGEN. So here comes Hagestown and Teville. Teville takes the win over Hagerstown. Boland the winner, and Ernie Banks with the home run, one for five. 33 home runs for Ernie Banks. Let's see what the batting leaders look like as we... So he's not even in the top five. <laughs> okay, Liverpool and Cleveland. Cleveland takes care of Liverpool. Uh, Smith the winner. Matthewson gets the loss. And Hayes, two for three. 
So Liverpool still hanging on to this. Uh, Berlin games again. They're up still, you know, so Liverpool's lead is down to seven, but see what happens. Canada, mid Michigan, mid Michigan takes care of Canada. Sandoval with a home run and a losing effort. Mike Michael Jackson gets the win. And Carpathian and Edmonton. Edmonton takes care of Carpathian. Oswald, 7 and 13. Lankford hits a home run, is 12th. So with that win, Edmonton pulls about a game behind Chicago. So Chicago could be entering the, into, into lottery territory. Uh, so, and here comes Amazing in Vegas. Vegas takes care of Amazing. Apier, the winner, is third win of the season. And Hamill's the loser. And Long Island and San Francisco rounds out today. Five to three victory for Long Island. Rube Maquad, three and three. Cano with a seventh home run. So that does it for the 18th. The 19th is just one game. We'll just play this one. Vegas over mid Michigan, four to nothing. Roland, the winner, he's five and four. Johnny Romano gets a home run. Bob Gibson is eighth loss. So. Uh, Mid Michigan is trying to jump back, kind of stay in this race here, and that doesn't help. So, uh, go to the 20th. Let's see, what game do I want to play here? Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's do Canada and Hadley Lake. Play Hadley Lakes in there, Canada. Since Sean's watching, just give him some uh, agita to watch his team play. Uh, Got to have a lefty in here, right, for Hadley Lake to have uh, Bobby. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ruben Sierra play center field. Oh, and Eddie Plank is pitching left-handed for <laughs> Hadley Lake Hammers. Let's see what the lineup looks like. Uh, Ruben Sierra at center field, the one center fielder. Here we go. Uh, make sure the lineups are good. So we got Eddie Plank versus versus Alexander. So Alexander is one of the best pitches in the game. So let's see the lineup here. Hold on a second. Well, now, yeah, I don't know what to do. It's just there's a uh, if I do the left-handed lineup, it just gives is an empty spot in where center field is. So, sorry about that. Got to hit computer lineup to fill it in, and then it sends or Sierra to center field down the bottom. But it is what it is. I'm not touching it. I'm doing it the same way for everybody. So, uh, okay. So I think we're ready to go. Good luck to the all good good luck to all combatants in this game as we're at Turner Field and for the Canada A's, the 87 and 39 Canada A's, and the right and the Hadley Lake Hammers who are 75 and 53. Uh home standing hammers have Tommy Davis in left field, Ty Cobb in center, Barry uh, Bobby Bonds in right. Rudy York at first, Ian Kinsler at second, Don Kessinger at short, Pete Rose at third. Jim Sunberg is behind the plate, and on the mound is left-hander Eddie Plank. Eddie Plank is a 15-9 in the season with a 3.76 ERA. And uh, uh, for the batting order for Canada A's, we have Roy Smalley batting first, Ted Simmons, Albert Pujols, Ren Zobrist, Al Kaline, Ken Boyer, Pablo Sandoval of DH, Rocky Colavito, and Ruben Sierra playing center field, batting ninth. And we're ready to start the game. And here's Roy Smalley to face Eddie Plank. Smalley's batting 218 with 20 home runs and 51 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And Plank strikes him out. And Ted Simmons steps to the plate, 262 with 23 home runs. Simmons grounds it sharply to York, but he has it himself. And out number two is Albert Pujols, 254, 34 home runs and 91 RBIs. And he grounds it softly to Kessinger, who plays the, to the first base for out number three. That's the end of the first. 
And Canada's defensive uh, configuration is Rocky Colavito in left, Ruben Sierra, the one center fielder in center, Al Kaline in right, Pujols at first, Zobrist at second, Smalley at short, Boyer at third, Ted Simmons at catcher, and Pete Alexander, the pitcher. I believe he's otherwise known as Grover Cleveland. He's 18 and 4 with a 2.60 ERA. And Cobb steps to the plate. He's batting an amazing 368 so far this season with 18 home runs and 64 RBIs. And he grounds a base hit up the middle. So Cobb is just a hitting machine in his first season in the league. And it's also a poor play by Smalley. And that brings up Bobby Bonds. He is 217 with the six home runs and 17 RBIs is the pitch. And Cobb is on his way. And he's safe. 45th stolen base. Ty Cobb. And the pitch to Bonds. And he has a base hit to left center. And Cobb's going to have to stay at third base. He was hit so hard. Uh, couldn't couldn't run home for that. Didn't want to take the chance. His first and third and nobody out is Pete Rose. Batting 306 with a home run and 19 RBIs. And he hits him. So Pete Alexander displaying some wildness. Plunks Rose. And here comes Rudy York with one grand slam already on the season with the bases loaded and nobody out. And here's the pitch on a 217 hitter. And strikes him out. So we got one out. And Rafael Palmero comes to the plate, 253 with 11 homers and 50 RBIs. And he also has a grand slam this season. And he hits a fly ball to Sierra. Is he going to have it? He does make the catch. And Cobb's going to come home in the throw safe. So. Couldn't quite make the throw. It was a close play, and a run scores, and the runners move up a base on the throw, so it's now second and third with two outs, and here's Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis hits a fly ball deep to center field, way back, and it's out of here. Home run, number 13 of the season for Tommy Davis. Makes it four to nothing, Hadley Lake. And Ruben Sierra couldn't even have that. He couldn't get that one if he had stilts on, so... 13 home runs for Tommy Davis and brings up Ian Kinsler. And Pete Alexander is having nothing but problems so far. Here's the pitch. Kinsler hits a base hit to center field. So the hits continue, and Jim Sunberg steps to the plate. And Kinsler goes in the pitch and is safe at second base with a stolen base, number nine. Trying to get as many runs as they can, as early as they can, off of, uh, off of Alexander. And here comes the pitch to Sunberg. Well, pickoff attempt. He's safe. And Sunberg gets a base hit. Kinsler is taking, getting third rounds third. It's the fifth run of the inning. And the beat is on against Canada here. And Kessinger is up to bat to face Alexander. And Steve Onaveros is coming in for Pete Alexander already in the first inning. So our Onaveros is now 7-3 and three with two saves, 53 and a two-thirds innings pitched. And the pitch to Kessinger. And he grounds it softly to Smalley, throws the first for out number three. That does it. It's a major damage done with five runs in the first inning for Hadley Lake. And here comes uh, uh, Ben Zobris to face Eddie Plank. And Plank walks him. So we get, a runner, we get the lead runner on first. And Al K lines up. 286 and 24 home runs. K line, it's a fir- ground ball to first. York tags the bag and Zobris goes to second. So we have one out, runner at second, and it's Ken Boyer. Ken Boyer steps to the plate and hits a base hit and see if Zobris, oh, he does not go to the throw, comes in really quickly and it's first and third with one out. And Pablo Sandoval comes to the base. He's got 23 home runs uh, on the season with a 269 average. Here's the pitch. Grounded to Kinsler. Could be double played. To Kessinger to one in New York for two, and that does it. They get out of the inning. Score, scoreless says it's, it's five to nothing after one and a half. And here comes Ty Cobb leading off the second inning as he led off the first inning. He's one for one. And Cobb grounds it to Boyer, who makes a great play, throws it to holes for out number one. And here comes Bobby Bonds. And he hits a fly ball to right field, and K-Line has it for out number two. And Pete Rose is up. And he grounds to Zobris, throws over to Pujols for out number three. So we go to third inning, and it's still 5 nothing. And Rocky Colavito's up. 
223 average of 26 home runs and 67 RBIs. And he grounds it to Kessinger, throws over to first, and is out one, out number one. And here's Ruben Sierra, one for 10 on the season. Two runs scored and a one center fielder. Here's the pitch. Sierra grounds to Kessinger, throws to first. He's now one for 11 on the season. And Roy Smalley is at shortstop. Cuts to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And he hits a line drive down the line. This is going to be extra bases. Could be three, actually. Let's see what happens. Bonds comes and throws to second. He's going to stay at second with two. So it's a 24th double for Smalley. And Ted Simmons comes up 0 for 1 so far in the game. And he grounds it back to Plank, throws over to York, and that does it for the third inning for Canada. And here comes Rudy York with 41 home runs on the season. I believe that leads the league. Here's the pitch. And he grounds a shot to Smalley, throws to Pools for out number one, and Palmero steps up. He flied, uh, and he had a sacrifice fly in the first inning. Here's the pitch to Palmero. Grounded to Zobrist, and he's a quick out at out number two. And Tommy Davis, who had the big home run, center field, thought he's one for one. And he hits a base hit to center field. And Sierra actually made the good play off the and got that ball into the shortstop to keep Tommy Davis from getting any more bases on the base hit. And here's Ian Kinsler, one for one. And Bobby Bonilla is going to pinch hit. Wow. Third inning, and we're bringing in the scrubs already. Bobby Bonilla lines it to left field, and it's caught by Carl Vito to end the inning. And here comes, we go to the fourth inning. It's still 5 nothing. Hadley Lake. And here's Alec Pujols, 0 for 1. Ball, ball. Take your and I just want to say this now, but if Hadley Lake doesn't, you know, drop the hammer on the Canada team with more runs, I, I feel like Canada could come back in this game. And they walk Pujols, and here's Zobrist. And Zobrist with a base hit. And Pujols is stuck, stuck off a second, and he's out. So Pujols with a base running blunder. Gets caught off second base uh, by Tommy Davis, of all people. And here comes Al Kaline. And he hits a long drive to center field, but Cobb is there, makes the catch, and Zobor has to retreat to first. And Ken Boyer comes to the plays one for one. And he grounds it to Pete Rose, who throws to first, out number three. Again, uh, Canada leaves one other runner on base. They've left three so far. And it's still five to nothing after three and a half. And here comes Jim Sunberg to face Ontiveros. Sunberg strikes out. And Don Kessinger's 0 for 1. And he hits a fly ball to center field. Sierra makes the catch. Woo-hoo. So you hold your breath when you get the ball to him. Here comes Ty Cobb, one for two. And he grounds to Zobrist, who makes the play to first. So we go after the first inning, we get some quick innings here. So it's still 5 nothing going into the fifth. And his Sandoval will lead off against Plank. And he pops up to catcher. Sunberg's back and makes the play about number one. And Calavito's here 0 for 1. And he grounds a sit- single up the middle. One on, one out. And his Ruben Sierra, 1 for 11. Ball, ball. And he walks him. Take your base. So. And here comes Roy Smalley, 1 for 2. And Roy Smalley, it's a single over the shortstop, and the bases are loaded. With one out, and Ted Simmons is up, who's a home run threat. And here's the pitch. Three. Strikes out Ted Simmons. And Albert Pujols is the man you don't want to face on the Canada roster at this point. Uh, Stroyd strides to the plate with two outs and 34 home runs under his belt. Here's the pitch. And he hits a long fly ball to left field. This could go, but it doesn't. And Tommy Davis has it. Out number three, so six left on for Canada through five. And it's still five to nothing, Hadley Lake. And here's the pitch to Bobby Bonds, who's one for two. And strikes him out. And it's Pete Rose, one for one so far. Rounds it to Smalley, out number two. And Rudy York 0 for 2 so far this game. And strikes out Rudy York. So it's a pitcher's duel after the first inning. And here comes Steve Onaveros is doing some great job in relief here. And here comes Ben Zobrist. 0 for 1. I'm sorry, 1 for 1 today. Rounds it to Plank. Throws the first out number 1. K-line 0 for 2. He loses him and takes first base. 
Fourth walk for Plank. Here comes Boyer, one for two. And Shopley hit the Rose to the Shields for one, over to York for two. Quick double play. Ends the inning. And still five to nothing after five and a half. Here comes Palmero. 0 for 1 so far. And he grounds a foul. Onaveros is on to his over his four, his pitch four and a third. A scoreless innings of relief here today. Strikes out Palmero. And here comes Tommy Davis, two for two. Grounds the pool holes. Out number two. And Delino to Shields comes up. He comes, he can't he came in for the pinch when they pinch hit for before, and he's making his first at bat of the game. And he grounds the third. Boyer throws the first and is out number three. So quickly again, bottom of the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh, still five to nothing. Eddie Plank is throwing five hitters so far. And he strikes out Sandoval. Rocky Colavito comes to the plate. And he hits a base hit up the middle. So first runner at first with one out. Ruben Sierra, 0 for 1 with a walk. And strikes out. And here comes Roy Smalley, who's 2 for 3 with a double. And he grounds to Kessinger. Kessinger throws to first, and that's out number 3. And we go to the 7th inning stretch. Sunberg comes to the plate, and he bloops a single over Zobrist's head. So we got one on, nobody out. Tay slash deep. Good to see you on here. And here comes Don Kessinger. Over two. Strike him out. And Ty Cobb is one for three today with a stolen base. And there's a fly ball deep to right, but K lines has it. Looked like it might have gone at first, but uh, the crowd certainly thought it might have. But then there's two outs, and Bobby Bonds is up. And he hits a pop fly to foul territory. Boyer should have this one, and he makes the play and foul ground to end the inning. We go to the top of the eighth, still 5 to nothing. Hadley Lake. Ted Simmons 0 for 3 today in his plank. Simmons grounds it to Rose. Rose with the fires over to first base. To York in plenty of time for out number one. And here comes Pujols. 0 for 2 for Pujols. And he hits a fly ball to left field. That's deep. Way back. And that's going to be out of here. Albert Pujols breaks the scoreless drought. And makes it 5 to 1 now. And here comes Ben Zobrist. He hits a base hit. So Canada's got something going here with, with eighth inning with one out. And brings up Al Kaline. And he walks him. So running into some issues here. Ken Boyer is one for three. And Sunberg's coming in to calm down Plank. And Boyer grounds to Kessinger. Throws to third base for the force out at third. So they got two outs now. First and second. His Sandoval 0 for three for the Panda. And strikes him out. So Plank comes back after giving up the home run. It's now bottom of the, go to the bottom of the eighth, five to one now. And here's Pete Rose leading off. And Hunter Veros looks like he might be a little tired. And Raleigh Fingers coming in to pitch. Acquired from Manchester Red Bolts at the trade deadline. And Pete Rose hits a home run right off of Fingers in his first at bat. And now it makes it six to one. Raleigh Fingers gives up a home run right off the bat. So that's an issue. <laughs> Rudy York is up. He's leading leading in home runs. We'll see what happens with Raleigh Fingers at the mound. And he grounds it to, to third base. Ken Boyer makes a great play. The pool holes foul number one. And pa Rafael Palmero, the DH, is up over two today. And he flies to left field, and Colavito has it. Foul number two. And here comes Tommy Davis, who already has a home run this game, and is two for three. He hits a fly ball left field. That's going deep, but that's going to be caught by K-Line. So that does it for the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth, six to one. Pretty be pretty decent hole Canada's in to try to come back out of a one inning. And here comes Rocky Colavito, two for three today. Strike three. Strike out and throw him. Throw has a drop third strike and makes the throw to first without number one. Ruben Sierra 0 for two. 
Here's the pitch. Grounds it harmlessly to Kessinger. Makes the great play to York for out number two. And doesn't look like Canada has it this game. Here comes Roy Smalley, who's two for four. And grounds to Kessinger as well, and this will do it. So that's six to one final. Hadley by Canvas take care of business. They move to 76 and 53. Canada falls to 87 and 40. And Canada had some hits. They, just, they left a lot of men on base. And uh, Hadley Lake made them pay in the first inning. Tommy Davis with a three run home run. And Pete Rose hit a home run his second of the season. At Grover Alexander gets the loss. He's 18 and five. And Eddie Plank gets his 16th win. So very good in outing by Plank, the lefty. And that's it. MVP is Tommy Davis. Okay, so let's finish out this day. And we'll probably play one more game and uh, call it a night after we finish out the rest of the week. So here we go. We'll sim out Chicago Amazing. One to nothing, Chicago. They get the win. Tim Hudson. DJ's Manchester. DJ's get smoked by Manchester. Jim, Jack Cheesebro, the loser, two and six. Tony Gwynn at a home run. Edmonton, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay gets this six to three. Mike Donlin gets his home run for Tampa Bay. And Frank Tanana gets his 13th win. Berlin and Lehigh. Lehigh takes care of Berlin. Drayback with his win. Mays gets his 37th home run. Liverpool, Teville. Teville takes care of Liverpool, two to nothing. Felix Hernandez gets his sixth win. Danny McLean is saddled with the loss, and here comes Long Island, Cleveland. Long Island takes care of Cleveland. Palmer, the winner, 7-17. Seven and 17. Clemente with the seventh home run is Florence and St. Pete. St. Pete takes care of Florence. Uh, Canseco, 3-5 for five with a home run. Hagerstown, San Francisco. Ooh, San Francisco takes care of Hagerstown, 22-1. to one. I got to look at this one. Clemens, the winner, 13-run fifth inning. Very interesting indeed. Five RBIs for Move On. Let's see here. Cano, Move on. Cano hit two home runs. Move On hit one. Posada had one. Dawson had one. A lot of a lot of hits. A lot of a lot of runs in that game. Chico's played in Dallas. Dallas beats Chico's. Chico's is in a bad way here. I feel like Chico's is like E.T. and Elliot, you know. When Elliot was really sick, Chico, uh, E.T. felt the same way, and he got sick. So it's like Buckshot needs to get better soon So and maybe get more involved here, try to bring his team to life. Maddox, it's his 18th win. That's a tough game anyway for anybody to be, try to beat Greg Maddox and uh, see how that goes. Carpathian Lancaster. Carpathian takes care of Lancaster. Candyman goes 11 and 10. Vegas and Mid Michigan. Vegas shuts out Mid Michigan again. Mid Michigan had nothing but problems against Vegas. Alvarez gets the win. Broglio gets the loss. Longoria goes two for four with a home run. All right, let's see the next day. I'll sim this for this day as well. Let's maybe do a game coming up. Long Island and Cleveland. Long Island takes care of Cleveland. Saberhagen gets a sixth win of the season. For Long Island this time. Been traded like three times this season. Beltran gets his 10th home run. Chicago and amazing. Chicago beats amazing again. And I think it's town San Francisco trying to look for some payback. And they do. They get the 4-3 to three win. Parrot the winner. Rogers the loser. She goes in Dallas again. Let's see if she goes and right the ship. And they do. They get a 5-4 to four victory. Uh, Singer, the winner. Johnny Bench with the home run. Trying to get back into this race here. Vegas and Mid Michigan. Mid Michigan gets back at Vegas finally with a seven to one victory. And his DJs in Manchester. Manchester takes care of DJs again. Manchester is now 63 and 62, 13 and a half games out. Whitey Ford, Joss the loser. Canada and Hadley Lake. Canada takes back care of Hadley Lake now. They, they get a win. Copper to the winner. Rube Waddell, the loser. Ben Zobris has a home run. Tampa Bay and Edmonton. Tampa Bay takes care of Edmonton again. Lindsay come with the winner. 
Howard, the two home runs at 16. Lehigh, Berlin. Berlin loses to Lehigh again. Seacott wins, gets the win, his 22nd win of the season. Um, Paul O'Neill has two home runs at 20. No losing effort. Here's Liverpool and Teville. Liverpool comes back and beats Teville. Gromick, the winner. Cy Seymour gets his 32nd home run. And Florence and St. Pete. St. Pete takes care of Florence again. Red Faber, the winner. And Carpathian and Lancaster. Lancaster takes care of Carpathian again. Tommy John, the winner. So we go to the 22nd. Let's see what we got for games here. <clears throat> Who should we play? Sounds like Berlin and Lehigh might be a good one. Uh, what's Tampa, Tampa Bay's Edmonton? Hmm. 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 By 11 would be a good game to watch because he's, he's dominant. Um, play Berlin Lehigh. See if Steve's around still. He might be, might be taking a snooze by now. <sighs> All right. Berlin, who's currently managerless, facing Lehigh, who's battling for the division and currently in first place. Facing lefty. All right. And they're facing a righty. Hank Barrow, he's going, I don't even know how the heck that, all right, I'm just going to leave that. Okay, we got Berlin White Sox facing the Lehigh Lizards. Berlin is 70 and 57. And Lehigh is 73 and 54, currently in first place in their division. For Berlin, starting in the field, we have, I'm sorry, for Lehigh, starting in the field, we have Sherry McGee, Willie Mays, and Kurt Flood. And first base, we have Bagwell, second base, Biggio, shortstop, Barry Larkin, third base, Jim Davenport, behind the plate, Russell Martin, Hank Barrowy. The, the starting pitcher today. He's 10 and 13 so far with a 3.43 ERA. And the batting order for the Berlin White Sox is made mostly of Red Sox and Yankees. Wade Boggs leading off. Jim Landis is batting second. Paul O'Neill, DH Bobby Mercer, Vern Stevens, Nellie Fox, Thurman Munson, Don Mattingly, and Minnie Minoso. Uh, rounding out the order. So we have Wade Boggs leading off. He's batting 273 with three home runs and 28 RBIs, and he takes the pitch from Barrowy. And Wade Boggs lines a single in the center. So we got one on, nobody out, and here's Jim Landis. Landis grounds to lock and throws to Biggio for one. They can't get two, so Boggs is taking care of it second, and we have two, one out and one on now. Paul O'Neill's up 320 with 20 home runs and 75 RBIs. Hit two home runs in the last game. And Landis goes in the pitch, and he's safe for the stolen base. And O'Neill takes the pitch, and he hits a shot down the left field line. That's going to be extra bases, and Landis is going to score easily. And here comes O'Neill going into second, and the throw he's safe with a double. So an RBI double for Paul O'Neill, and Berlin takes the one nothing lead, and his Mercer strikes him out. It's two outs, and here comes Vern Stevens, his 302 average and 14 home runs. And strikes out Stevens. So that does it for the first inning, and the Berlin gets a run. And Jimmy Key comes to the mound, and he's going to have Minnie Minoso behind him in left field. Jim Landis, center. Paul O'Neill in right. Mattingly at first. Nellie Fox at second. Vern Stevens at short. Wade Boggs at third. Thurman Munson behind the plate. And as I mentioned, Jimmy Key with a 7-7 seven seven record with 4.11 ERA. For Berlin. And he faces Biggio, who's batting 248, two homers, and 56 RBIs. Biggio grounds to Boggs, throws to Mattingly. <laughs> Boy, that's a combination, huh? Whoever would have thought that was be possible? Boggs to Mattingly. That's a good one. And here's Kurt Flood, 260 with a home run and 21 RBIs. And Flood floats a single to right field, and he's on one out. And here comes Jeff Bagwell, 31 home runs this season with a 309 average to go with it. And he walks Bagwell, so first and second. And Key's got to face Willie Mays now, 37 home runs this season 
274 hour average and has Willie Mays. It's a fly ball to center. Landis is there, makes the play, and Flood's going to stay at second base. So nice throw by Landis to third. And here comes Amos Otis, the DH, 148 average. And it's a bad pitch. And it's, oh, sorry, it's going to be a pass ball. The catcher couldn't handle it. And so the run is advanced. And here comes the pitch to Otis. Otis hits a base hit. The right field that's going to score one. It's going to score two. So the Lehigh Lizards take the lead two to one on a two out single by Amos Otis to drive into. And here comes Russell Martin. Check on Otis. He's safe. Another pitch that's in the dirt, and it's another pass ball. Thurman Munson with two pass balls this inning. And a walk. So just a disjointed effort here by Berlin. You can tell they're missing their manager. And here's Sherry McGee. And McGee strikes out to end the inning. So it's 2-1 to one now. Lehigh Lizards take the lead. Pitch to Nelly Fox. And Nelly Fox hits a base hit to left field. And brings up Munson, who had two pass balls last inning. He has 14 homers. And it's batting 237 the season so far. And Munson hits a fly ball to left field. That's going to be playable by McGee, and he's going to make it out number one. And his Mattingly, it was 248 and six home runs. Mattingly hits a fly ball deep to right field, way back, and that's out of here. Oh, into the right, over the right field wall. And for a two run homer now, Berlin takes the lead back. It's now three to two. And Bowery gives up the home run to Mattingly, and here comes Minnie Minoso. Minoso grounds to Larkin. Larkin's going to be, it's going to be close, and he's safe. Minoso beats out the throw by Larkin, and he's on with an infield single. So one out, one on, and here's Wade Boggs, who's one for one today. Boggs grounds it to first. Bagwell to, throws to Larkin, back to Bagwell. Double play, 3 6 3, and that ends the inning. 3 to 2 now, Berlin, with a home, two run home run by Mattingly. Here's Jim Davenport, 216 average and two home runs. Davenport grounds to Fox, throws to Mattingly for out number one. Barry Larkin steps to the plate, 209 average and eight home runs. And he pops it up in the infield, right to Nellie Fox, who has it for the out number two. And here comes Craig Biggio, 248 average. Oh, I'm sorry, he's 0 for 1, sorry, today. And he grounds to Fox, and he throws the first. So Nellie Fox was busy this inning, still 3-2 to two after two. And here comes Jim Landis. And Landis hits a shot to set left field in the corner, and that's going to be extra bases. McGee comes down with it, and Landis goes to second easily with a double. It's 19th of the season, and here comes Paul O'Neill, one for one, with a double. And O'Neill hits a fly ball to left field, but Flood's going to have it. And let's see if Landis takes third, and he's going for third. It is the throw from Flood. It's a great throw, and he's safe, though. Not in time. As Landis gets to third on the – reaches third on the fly out to right field – and his Mercer, one out. Mercer with a base hit, scores the run. Oh, it's a double by Mercer. He takes second base. And it's now 4-2 to two, Berlin. And here comes Vern Stevens. Vern Stevens, oh, bad pitch, but Mercer holds up. And Stevens with a shot to the gap. That's going to be extra bases. That's Vern Stevens with a double. Lots of doubles in this hot game. Dog, hot dog, it's now five to two Berlin. So Barrow is getting, dog, dog. for lack of a better term, he's getting shelled this game. And his Nelly Fox is one for one. And here comes Mike McCormick. Mike and the McCormicks is coming up. And here's the pitch. And Fox hits another base hit. And it's going to keep Stevens at third. So it's one first and third with one out. And ninth hit of the game already in the third inning. Here comes Thurman Munson, who's 0 for 1, two pass balls. There's a foul tip. And he hits a fly ball to center, really far, really deep, and into the bleachers for a three run home run for Thurman Munson. And just like that, it's now 8 to 2, fifth run of the inning. Thurman Munson's 15th home run. We have a blowout, folks. Mike McCormick comes on, it's just. Throwing gas of fire on the and gasoline on the fire, actually. And his Don Manley already has a home run. Let's see what happens here. Lefty against lefty. Foul ball. Oh. And he hits a fly ball to right, and Flood's gonna have this one for out number two. And Minnie Minoso is one for one in the game. And Frank Thomas is gonna pinch hit in the third inning. Must be the blowout. 
and he grounds out to third base. And Kerr Flood comes to bat for Lehigh against Jimmy Key, one for one today. And Flood gets his second hit of the game. And that brings up Bagwell, who's over, who walked. And he hits a base hit into the gap, and it's just going to be a single. So the first and second. So Lehigh is coming back here. Let's see what happens. Willie Mays, 0 for 1. Willie Mays, Willie Mays with a single up center field, and the bases are going to be loaded. Station to station baseball here. Amos Otis is 1 for 1 with a very poor average, but he did get a hit today. Pitch to Otis, and Otis hits a fly ball. To Landis in center field. Flood's going to go back. He's going to score on the sacrifice fly. So it's now eight to three, and Russell Martin comes to the bat. And Martin grounds to Nellie Fox, who throws to Vern Stevens, who throws to Mattingly for double play, four, six, three, ends the inning. But the, Lehigh does get an extra run, and it's now eight to three, Berlin. Wade Boggs coming to the plate, with, he's one for two. And he grounds a single up the middle, he's two for three. 11th hit for Berlin. And here comes Jim Landis, one for two with a double. And he pops it straight up behind home plate, and Russell Martin has it for out number one. And here's Paul O'Neill, one for two with an RBI. Rounds it to Biggio. This could be two. Throws to Larkin for one. To ba Bagwell for two. That end any ending double play. Bottom of the fourth, eight to three. And here's Sherry McGee. Rounds it to Boggs. Over to Mattingly for out number one. Jim Davenport, 0 for one. And he grounds a single on the left side. So we got the runner at first and one out, and Barry Larkin is hitless and one at bat. And here comes grounds to Boggs, and he can only play the first as Davenport goes over to second base. So we got two outs, one in scoring position, and there's Craig Biggio, 0 for 2. Biggio grounds to Boggs, and he throws to Mattingly for out number three. So after four, it's 8 to 3, Berlin White Sox. And Mike McCormick pitches to Bobby Mercer. Three. Strikes him out. So McCormick settling down here a little bit after giving up all those that uh, home run in the third inning. Here's Vern Stevens. Rounds it to Biggio with a web gem play over to Bagwell. So out number two. It's great play number 30 for Biggio. Here's Nelly Fox, two for two today. Grounds it to Larkin, and he throws the first out number, one, out number three. That reti di retires the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, and it's eight to three after four and a half. Kurt Flood, two for two, and he's now three for three. So Flood's on on base, three straight hits, and brings up Bagwell, who's one for one with a walk, and he's two for two with a walk. Now first and second with nobody out. So Jimmy Key's playing with fire here. Uh, Lehigh's left four, four runners on base so far, and they're, they're threatening here. Here's Willie Mays. And he hits a fly ball to left field deep, but, but White is there to make the catch for out number one. And here's Amos Otis, one for one with a sacrifice fly. Three RBIs this game, and there's a walk. So he's on base again, so bases are loaded. And Russell Martin comes to the plate. He has, some, he has the ability to put one out of here and see what happens here. Pitch from Key. And he grounds it to Fox, throws to Vern Stevens for one over to Mattingly, ending, ending, double play. And Lehigh Lizards leave two men on base. And they've left six total. It's still eight to three. And here's Thurman Munson who hit the gigantic three-run homer the last time he was up. And he hits a base hit to left center field this time. So second hit for Thurman Munson. And here's Don Mattingly, who also has a home run. Whoops. I hit the wrong button by accident. Okay. So he hits a base hit anyway, and it's first and second. Nobody out. And here comes Roy White. Oh, for, oh he's not has not uh, batted. I think he came. Oh, he came in when they pinch hit. So this is the substitute in left field. His pitch to Roy White. Oh, it was a bad pitch, and it's going to be a wild pitch for Mike McCormick. And it's now second and third. Roy White's batting two eleven this season with no home runs and seven RBIs, and he hits a base hit to right field. And it's going to score just one run, and it's now nine to three, Berlin. And Wade Boggs is coming up; he's two for three in the game. And Hank McGuire is going to come up, or Geary, whatever, you, however they say it. Call him a Geary, I suppose. And here is Wade Boggs, and he pops it up in the infield. 
really high. Fabigio is in the outfield grass and makes the play for out number one. And Jim Landis comes to bat with one to three, one for three. And he grounds it to Biggio, throws the second for one on to first, but they can't get the double play. And the run's going to score. It's now 10 to three, double digits for Berlin. And Paul O'Neill comes to the plate. He hits a fly ball to right field, and Kurt Flood makes the catch to end the inning with two more runs for Berlin. And it's definitely getting to be out of reach for Lehigh. But here's the pitch from, from Key to McGee. Grounded to Manningly, and he's out number one. Jim Davenport's one for two, and he hits another base hit. So he's second hit of the game for Davenport. So Lehigh is definitely getting their hits, share hits and base runners, but they're not count, not cashing in on them. Barry Larkin's over two, and he grounds to Fox. Stevens to one. That's the third double play of the game for Berlin, as that does it for the bottom of the sixth. And we go to the seventh. It's ten to three. Bobby Mercer grounds to Aguirre and throws to Bagwell for out number one. Vern Stevens walks him. And Ellie Fox, two for three today. Two runs scored. And a bad pitch again. Wild pitch for Aguirre, and Stevens takes second. And Nellie Fox hits a shot down the right field line. This is going to score Stevens, and Fox is going for extra bases. He's going for two. He's going to go for three. The relay from Biggio to third base. He's safe for the triple. Nellie Fox having a day for himself. Three for four today. And it's 11 to three now. And here comes Thurman Munson. And Munson, fly ball to center field. Fox is going back, and he's going to score. And the throw home. He's safe. Willie Mays with a great throw home, but just not in time. So it's now 12 to three. The rub comes on. Dave Veers is coming into pitch. And his Mattingly rounds it to Biggio and makes the play for out number one. Okay. And we go to the seventh inning stretch, and we're not going to do that. Biggio's up, and Biggio's going to ground to Stevens. We can't make the play. It's a sing infield single for Biggio. Skirt floods three for three. He's going for his fourth hit of the game. Let's see what Key offers and delivers, and Stevens to Fox, fourth double play of the game. Just that's the story of the game. All the double plays for uh, Berlin, and here comes Bagwell, two for two, and hits a fly ball to center field. That's deep, off the wall, and Bagwell is going to have a double. He's three for three now, and his twenty-eighth double of the season. Is Willie Mays one for three? Walks him. So again, here we go. Runners on base again, and Jimmy Keys at one hundred and four pitches, staying in the game, and Amos Otis comes to the plate. And he line drive to Fern Stevens, out number three. And we go to the eighth. 12 to three, Berlin. And Roy White grounds out to Biggio. Wade Boggs, base hit. It's his third hit of the game. And Jim, Jim Landis grounds it to Larkin, to Biggio. And they can't get two. So it was two outs and runner at first. And here's Paul O'Neill, one for four with a double. Veers sets and throws and grounds it to Larkin, who just tags the bag himself to end the inning. It's now still 12 to 3, and here's Russell Martin. And he lines a base hit up the middle. It's 11th hit, the no, 12th hit of the game for the Lizards. Three runs to show for it, eight left on base. And here's McGee, 0 for 3. Grounds it to Boggs, to, to Fox for 1. Oh, I thought they were going to get another double play, but they don't. He brings up Jim Davenport, it's 2 for 3. And he grounds it to Vern Stevens. He throws the Fox, and he can't get it to turn the double play. So they almost had another double play, but uh, still two outs and runners at first. And Barry Lockins over three. He walks him. And here comes Biggio. Grounds it to shortstop. Vern Stevens to Fox for the out. The tie is the side. We go to the ninth, 12-3, to three, and here comes Bobby Mercer. Strike three. Strikeout by Veers. Vern Stevens. Line drive to Biggio. Nelly Fox, three for four, going for hit number four today. Three runs scored today. Pitch to Fox, and he grounds it weakly to Bagwell. Flips to Veers, covering, and that does it. And here comes Jimmy Keys coming out for the ninth inning with 133 pitches. We'll see what happens if they take him out. Against Kurt Flood, who's got three hits this game. Pitch to Flood, they walk him. Take your base. Can't be staying for that much long. Here's Bagwell. Oh, there, here we go. Al, Al Downing's coming in to pitch. 
and he's gonna face Bagwell. It's three for oh, three, no. and he walks Bagwell. Uh oh. So here comes Willie Mays, and he grounds to Fox to Fern Stevens for one to Mattingly for, oh. I believe it's the fifth double play of the game, and brings a runner at third. Then Fox to Stevens and Mattingly combination just deadly today. And Amos Otis, one for two today, three RBIs. Pitch. And Al Downing walks Otis. Where's up Russell Martin? One for three. Grounds it to Fox. Throws to Mattingly. That does it. 12 to 3 blowout by Berlin against Lehigh. Helps out Chico's a little bit for the time being. And Jimmy Key gets the win. He's eight and seven. Hank Barrow gets his 14th loss. Lots of hits by 16 hits in total by Berlin. Three for five for Fox. What a great day. Thurman Munson had the big home run. He's two for three with four RBIs. Wade Boggs, three for five in the leadoff spot. Uh, Jeff Bagwell had three hits. Kurt Flood had three hits. I mean, uh, two for four for Bat Davenport. The Lehigh had a, had a lot of base runners. They just couldn't get them in. And, yeah, let's see if they have the double plays. It's Berlin, five double plays against Lehigh's two. That's pretty impressive. So that does it for that. And with that, we'll just sim the rest of the week here. So hang on and enjoy the, the results coming in here. So Chico's played Dallas. Chico shuts out Dallas. So Chico takes advantage and gets another half game in, uh, up on, uh, cuts into the lead. So they're only a game and a half out. Tex Houston with a shutout. DJ's in Manchester. DJ's pulls out a victory. John Lester gets the win. Sother on the loser. And Hadley Lake in Canada. Ooh, Canada kicks the crap out of Hadley Lake. Dizzy Trout gets the win. Colavito gets his 27th home run. Chief Bender must have went on a bender because he gave up probably a bunch of runs. And his Tampa Bay against Edmonton. Tampa Bay destroys Edmonton 9 to 1. Lescano a home run. Brett Blylevin 15 and 5. Liverpool and Teville. Liverpool beats Teville five to four. Mort Cooper the win. Cy Seymour gets his thirty third home run. And Long Island and Cleveland. Long Island loses to Cleveland nine to seven. Albert Bell hits two home runs. St. Pete and Florence. Florence beats St. Pete. Florence Eugene Wilson or Earl Wilson gets his sixth win. And amazing in Chicago. Amazing beats Chicago eight to two. Andy Bennis, the loser, missed the perfect game. San Francisco, Hagerstown. San Francisco beats Hagerstown. Kovaleski, the 18th win. A Rod with his 26th home run is Chico's in Dallas with game two of a doubleheader. Dallas destroys Chico's nine to nothing. Cy Young, the winner. Schneider, the loser. Wagner goes three for four. Leon Wagner, that is, and his Vegas and Man Min Michigan. I feel like they've been playing forever here. And Vegas wins Min beats Min Michigan. Tom Gordon gets his fifth win. Tome with his 21st home run. And his Carpathian Lancaster. Lan oh, Carpathian destroys Lancaster 16 to 6. Check that one out. Three for five for Dave Parker. Five RBIs. McCann with four RBIs. We get uh Parker had a solo shot. Alou had a solo shot. So, wow. And I think that does it for that day. Let's go to the 23rd. Mid-Michigan in Chicago. Mid-Michigan takes care of Chicago 4-2. Bob Gibson gets his 21st. Canada and amazing. Canada beats amazing 4-2. <clears throat> Pool holes hits his 37th. And Florence and Carpathian. Florence beats Carpathian and Vegas and Hadley Lake. Hadley Lake takes care of Vegas. Don Drysdale gets his 10th win against his former team, but of course, I think everybody's his former team. <clears throat> Chico's in Berlin. Berlin beats Chico's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hal Halliday. The cone with the lose, the loss, 17 and 8. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just take a drink. Hold on a sec. <sighs> Vern Stevens, two home runs. Long Island against Teville. Teville beats Long Island. Bowling with his win. Ernie Banks is his 34th home run. 
Edmonton, St. Pete. Oh, St. Pete at Edmonton. Edmonton takes care of St. Pete. And Tampa Bay at Lancaster. Tampa Bay is three games up on Hadley Lake. Tampa Bay shuts out Lancaster. <clears throat> on fire. <clears throat> Quaya gets the loss. And uh, let's see. Yeah. So that does it for the 23rd. Last day of the week. We'll do mid-Michigan Chicago again. Mid-Michigan takes care of Chicago. Uh, Broglio the winner. Matt Kane the loser. Manchester Lehigh. Lehigh beats Manchester. Mordecai Brown gets Lehigh back on track. Three games up. Mike Messina, the loss. Amazing against Canada. Canada handles amazing 7-1. to J.R. Richard, the winner. Florence and Carpathian. Carpathian takes care of Florence. Chance, the winner. Parker with another home run. Hadley Lake in Vegas. Vegas. Oh, Hadley Lake shuts out Vegas one to nothing in 10 innings. <clears throat> that was a that was a pitcher's duel there. Chico is trying to get back on the on the right track here, and they cannot as they get smoked by Ber Berlin eight to two. Seaver the loser, just not able. Not a good time for Chico's right now. They now fall three and a half games back, but they're still in it. Obviously, it's just uh, hopefully they can right the ship. Long Island and Teville. Teville handles Long Island. Panic the eight, eight and five. Hagerstown Cleveland. Hagerstown beats Cleveland. St. Pete at, Ed at Edmonton, 5-1. to one. Hey, Ray Schalk with his eighth home run. Liverpool and San Francisco, 2-1. to one. Liverpool takes the victory with Christy Matheson winning his 24th game. Euclid has his 12th home run in defeat. D-Gens in Dallas. D-Gens handles Dallas 12-4. to four. Now Beckett, the winner, his 12th win. Lancaster, Tampa Bay. Lancaster beats Tampa Bay, and Fred Tony gets the win. So that does it for the week. Uh, we have Lehigh up on three and a half on Chico's. We have Liverpool up seven and a half on Berlin. Two and a half the game lead for Tampa Bay over Hadley Lake, six and a half over Mid Michigan. And Canada, it's 14 and a half games now, comfortably in first place. As we almost enter September here. Now for the for the lottery teams, we have Teville, D Gens, Dallas, Long Island, Amazing, St. Pete, and Edmonton and Florence all up for the lottery for the first pick of the draft. And let's see injuries here. So that's going to do it for the day. <clears throat> uh, that's why I say buckshot. Sometimes it's better not to fuck with the winning formula. So uh, let's look at some reports. We'll look at the injuries. The all important injury report. Let me drag it over here. Not many injuries to speak of. Manny Ramirez out to the 24th. Uh, let's see, September 22nd, Carlton Fisk is out. Cleveland's got a number of injuries out. Uh, Ricky Henderson's out till August 27th. That's well known. I don't see, uh, let's see, September 2nd for Shane Mack. Yeah. Nothing really uh, earth shattering here. Evan Longori is hurt. Uh, to share is hurt for Tampa Bay. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Not too many to think of. Uh, not a big list there. Let's see. Let's look at uh, hitting streaks. Well, Ralph Gar Ralph Gar is has leading the, has the current highest lead with uh, hitting streak with thirteen. That's amazing. Wow. Ty Cobb's got twelve. So not nothing really too crazy yet. But Ralph Gar. It's a. It's kind of funny. So that's that's going to do it for tonight's game. So I appreciate you watching and following along. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I will export the BBX files um, in order for Bernie to import them tonight or tomorrow, depending on when he feels like it, so he can continue on tomorrow. And we'll hopefully finish up August. And don't forget, tomorrow, I believe, uh, well, there's no trading anymore. So 
think Thursday at noon is the trade deadline. I'm the the manager file for September. And that's it. So uh talk to you all soon in the Discord or whenever. And uh have a good night, everyone, and we'll talk soon.